It's erupting right now. How you feeling? Are we really gonna do this? Good morning, everybody. From Kagoshima. So yesterday, uh, we got on a train in Hiroshima and we came straight down here to Kagoshima because our JR pass was running out mm -hmm. and so was our visa. Time in general is running out. We do think though that we found a way to Okinawa without using a plane. Yeah, so tomorrow evening we're going to board a ferry that leaves from this port in Kagoshima and takes 26 hours to Okinawa. But that does mean that we have a day here. The volcano that we showed in the beginning, it's Japan's most active volcano. Mm -hmm. it, it, Sakurajima. Sakurajima. It's just massive and smoke's just like billowing out of it and we're gonna go over there and ride some bikes around it. Cause why not? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so that mountain oh, right there is uh, supposedly the most active, if not one of the most active volcanoes in Japan, mm -hmm. which is a place that is uh, famous for having a lot of volcanoes. 10% of the entire world's active volcanoes are here. It used to be an island and then an eruption in the early 1900s connected it to a part of mainland Japan. Not this part though, so we do have to get on a ferry. Yeah, this should be fun. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Tia is for some reason really, I mean, it, it erupts like 200 times a year, so I don't actually think we have anything to worry about, but yeah. All right, <laughs> so right here, it's right across, I mean just right across from the ferry place. It's a car rental place, but you can also rent bikes, which we did. Look at these guys, Ooh. So they're $300, no, 300 yen an hour, mm -hmm. and he says it takes about four hours to go around the entire island, entire volcano, and he closes his shop in just over four hours, so. We don't have that much time. No. I feel like the last couple of videos have shown poor time management on our part. <laughs> uh, we're gonna, we're gonna make it. Yes. We'll be good. We also mentioned it's about 23 miles. Also, you guys, if the audio sounds a little bit different today, we're using these mics again because we're on the bikes and these are a lot less bulky and just kind of better with what we're doing. So mm -hmm. if the audio sounds different, that's why. But we're gonna get into it and try and get out of this little town into nature a little bit. Let's go. I guess I'll be on my way now. You just give me a... All right, we are 
Oh, 10 miles in maybe. How you doing, love? It's so much fun! Well, the down, downhill is. Yeah, there's like a, if you do this bike ride towards like in the first quarter, there's a section that's just a mile straight uphill. But then we get to go downhill after. Look at this. Holy moly. That is so cool. I have never seen an island quite like this. It's okay, just... so this is a lava field back here and it erupted, what, 1946? Mm hmm And it just spewed lava all down here and you can see it erupting back there. Yeah, and it's just... It's incredible, it's so, so cool. And there's just like ash covering the ground still, like while we're riding our bikes, there's still mm -hmm. ash on the ground. Yeah. And like these pine trees, there's so many pine trees. It's yeah, just... it's crazy how fast nature has like, this was a lava field 70 years ago and nature has almost completely reclaimed it. That is so cool. Also, back here, earlier we were talking about, see those mountains back there? Earlier we were talking about how an eruption actually connected Sakurajima to mainland Japan, and that's it right there. It's also kind of mind-bending that you can see how... She already got a... <laughs> Stop, I'm hungry. It's so green and lush and it's cold and you have a white capped mountain so like all together it's just a really interesting mix. it is yeah it's almost as lush as hawaii but a good 30 degrees cooler fahrenheit lunchtime oh yeah <laughs> got a gold protein bar this is hard work i know we keep going on about this volcano you guys but this tori gate back here used to be three meters tall, and it was buried in a single day by ash from an eruption. That's just crazy. Can you imagine just like how fast that must have happened? People still live on this island. I think there's a couple thousand people still living on this volcano. Tia for scale, look at this. Oh my God. There she is, there's Tia. That's crazy, it's like maybe what? I think three more feet left. Maybe three feet tall now. That's insane. Okay, we're running a little behind schedule, so we're gonna make some time. All the ash goes. This is the southeastern side of the island. Most of the ash, like the wind is usually goes east, so most of the ash ends up on this side. And uh, you can really tell where to look out, and it must be customary to throw coins on the ground, but they're all like covered in ash. It's weird because it's not, there's still vegetation. It's not like Hawaii where you feel like you're on the moon on the big island but you can still see lava rock everywhere. There's still stuff growing through it though. This is how far we've climbed the seas, about a thousand feet down now. For the last three or four miles, it's just been pretty much straight uphill. We read a blog that said the first half is harder than the second half. I'm not sure that I agree with that. Though. I think no. that maybe they went counterclockwise because we did this whole thing clockwise. Anyways, it's been really, really tough. We've got a tendency, I feel like, to just take on challenges that we have no experience with. No, I think I've been on, on a bike just a few times in my entire life. I'm gonna feel it in my legs tomorrow. And uh, we got like seven miles, seven miles yeah. to go. We're gonna try and get back to that town because the guy's closing soon. Oh my gosh. Can you do it? I had no choice to <laughs>
We did it. Oh my gosh, with like 15 minutes to spare. We, we made it. it back in time. We're on the ferry back to Kagoshima. And tomorrow we're getting on a much longer ferry. For now we're going to go eat our weight in pizza. I feel horrible saying this, <laughs> but there's a Domino's in this town. <laughs> And I honestly, we haven't eaten all day, and I honestly think we're gonna go eat Domino's. So like one of the big size pizzas, like the the ridiculous. The pizzas. New York style, like oh my God. yeah. Okay, thanks you guys for coming with us today. We hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Subscribe. Or an eruption in the early 1900s connected it. it connected it. <laughs> Hold up. two miles, let's say. <sighs> we do tee up for scale, but I always pick up the cameras. I feel like this kind of makes it even.